Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I uh, want to show you this uh, new device that I bought from the uh, IKEA. It is a uh, LED panel. This one is 60 centimeters by 60 centimeters. So the brand name is, I'm not sure if I'm calling it right, but Float or something like that. And they have different versions uh, uh, from it. So this box is uh, delivered including a um, remote control and on the back of the remote control you uh, will have to put in a battery that is included with, uh, with the device and after that you have to press the button for around 10 seconds to pair it with this uh, uh, LED panel. So let's show you the LED panel first. It is uh, quite bright. And actually I'm seeing that it looks weird on the video somehow so I see these lines but in reality I don't uh, see any lines so that has something to do with the camera I guess maybe maybe if I increase the brightness this will go away well almost okay so it um, comes with several colors white and um, uh, warm white so this is in between and with the remote control uh, it's now not easy to see but with the remote control you have the option to switch the color so this is even more warm white going to the right less warm white and this is now uh, really bright white and then again you have these up and down buttons to control the dimming value of the uh, LED panel as you can see it's getting less bright now maybe it's not that easy to see on the video but no this is the lowest setting of the of this LED panel and with this middle button you can uh, control the on and off uh, situation of the LED panel I will turn it on full brightness so the if you are buying one of these please remember that let's switch it off first that the LED panel is default only delivered with this um, connection cable so this is let's twist this one this is the power supply that is integrated with this LED panel the default product is delivered with only this box meaning you have to put in um, separate wires inside this casing to supply this device from power and they also sell a separate cable for around 4 euros if I remember correctly that is this one so if you buy this one including this LED panel you can just um, power it right away you just have to plug in this cable inside the, the power supply and then the other side inside the um, power socket of your home so this one is also equipped with a, um, a magnetic uh, holder so if you for example put it over there you can see that you can put it on the fridge or something and this one can be put like this and then you can place the remote everywhere in your home consuming 34 watts and uh, in this video I'm now gonna try to see what kind of LEDs say they have used inside the panel so I'm gonna screw it open uh, first the framing and after the framing I will try to see if it's possible to see the LEDs itself I want to know if they use, what kind of uh, LEDs they have used inside this uh, very bright panel. So let's try it out to open the device. So this is the frame of the uh, LED panel. So when you are uh, mounting the LED panel at your home, you can use these mounting holes over here to attach the frame to your wall or something like that. And after that you can just click it on the LED panel like this. And you have two screws over here to uh, uh, fix the uh, framing of the LED panel. 
So let's see what we have here. I see multiple screws and I guess I have to remove all of them to see the inside of the uh, LED panel. So let's go! So this is the power supply. I'm guessing this one is a generic one they all will also use for uh, for their kitchen tools, so I'm not sure. At least the case looks the same to me. I've seen that before. So this is the uh, power supply of the uh, LED panel. So I'm now going to open all of the other screws over there. So you may be asking why? Why are people opening products? Why don't they just connect it to their home and be happy with it? But um, it is because uh, I love to see electronics. I make electronic systems myself. And when I see other electronic design, it's like an inspiration or something. When you see other people, how they made their products, um, first of all I, I really like to see how they do it but maybe you can also learn something about it so do you know for your own product development if you see something interesting you can maybe think well maybe that's something I could use in the future too but as well I'm not watching any television shows or something so I just me it's it's like television to open this device and see what's inside of it. Uh, yes there are two screws over there too but I'm not gonna open it with this small bit. I think it's not coming over there. No, it's not coming there. So let's get another that was the frame. I'm gonna use this bit to open the last uh, part so always be uh, cautious if you uh, are working with these kinds of device now I still have a protective cover over it but if you remove it be sure to place something on your table because at least I hate to see scratches on products I just want to keep it clean and nice okay remove all of it but I think it's better to reposition the camera otherwise you will miss something things about it but well maybe I have to buy another holder sometime for the camera so I made uh, myself a new table, as you can see the wood, but I hope the camera still focuses on uh, this part. And now uh, I'm going to open the device, I think. Yes, I can see.